Hi guys, welcome back to Ron's Random Reviews. Uh, today I have a review of a new Milwaukee toolbox that I bought. It's a 46 inch wide and 16 drawer. I got this, uh, it's sold exclusively at Home Depot. And uh, they sell, of course, their Husky brand, a couple other brands that aren't as popular, and Milwaukee. Uh, and I really like the quality of the Milwaukee over its competitors in this, I guess you'd say, category. Um, they have anywhere between like 41 to 46 inch boxes, this being 46. And uh, so I looked at the Husky, I looked at the Cobalt, I went to Harbor Freight and looked at their uh, National General. And then their Icon was really something I was considering, except for their only very large boxes, like I think it was like 60 or 66 or something, and that didn't work for me. So in this category, it was really a comparison between uh, this Milwaukee, then the National General, Husky, and Cobalt. Cobalt, I would definitely say, is on the bottom of the scale. You pretty much throw that one out because it's basically the same price as the one from Home Depot, that's Lowe's, same as the one from Home Depot, which is Husky, and Husky seems to be quite a bit better than Cobalt. So if you're in the market, I would throw out the Cobalt and just say, okay, do I want a Husky, National General, or step up to Milwaukee? Um, Husky and National General, I felt were very similar as far as quality is concerned and features, and they're like, Ah, eh, five, six hundred dollars. So if that's kind of your price range, either one of those would be good. Um, but this one here, Milwaukee, has several things that I'll mention that are much better quality. But it is a thousand dollar box, you know, nine ninety nine or whatever it is. So I thought a long time before I was going to decide, okay, which one I'm going to go with because this is just a box for at home. You know, I'm no mechanic. Uh, I've done lots of mechanic work in the past, but no longer now. So this is just a general box for at home in your garage for your tools that you need for around home. And uh, I always had a little cheapo, small, old craftsman, uh, ancient craftsman, and and it worked. I mean, you know, worked for many years, but uh, I wanted a little more room. You know, that was only like a 26 or 27 inch box, and this is 46. So it gave me quite a bit more room. And to get some things off shelves and off the floor in various locations and consolidate it where it should be. So I really liked, uh, you know, this setup. And they have a similar setup, like I say, for National General and Husky. Okay, for like five, five fifty, six hundred, depending on your configuration. So it took me a while to decide: do I want to spend thousand on just a box for my home, my garage? And I said, you know what? The, the heck with it. I'm gonna go for it because this is much better quality, in my opinion. And I said, I'll just go for it and get this one. So that's what I did. Um, so I'll get to it here. Uh, if you notice on the side, it has an outlet strip uh, that I removed. And the reason I removed it is because I was going to put this box into a smaller area of my garage. And come to find out, it was about a quarter inch to three sixteenths too big. It, it wouldn't work. So... That really killed me. I couldn't believe it. So I tried everything I could possibly do, couldn't get it to fit. So I had to go to plan B and remove a bunch of stuff from this corner of my garage and relocate it. So, and it works out well anyway, because uh, it's right near an outlet here. So it's fine, I'm happy with it. But anyways, these come separately, separate boxes, top and bottom box. Uh, they will come uh, on a wooden pallet that they deliver um not impressed at all with the delivery uh from home depot they were not damaged but they're supposed to call you a half hour ahead of time they didn't call me and luckily i have video cameras that was showing them that they were just going to dump it out in front of my garage in the rain so it was raining they're going to drop it from my garage and leave uh you know obviously i don't want it in the rain and obviously I don't want it just sitting in front of the garage. If I wasn't home and I was at work or something, anyone can pull up. Oh, Milwaukee box. Wow. Load that in the back of their truck and they're gone. So that was idiotic, actually. Uh, I was very upset, but I was able to get out uh, side uh, due to my cameras and 
tell the guys, hey, you know, what's going on? So uh, they were nice enough. They went ahead and moved it in the garage where it should have been. But now I'm stuck with a wooden pallet that I got to figure out how to get rid of. Got to tear it up. So, but anyways, I wasn't happy with that. So then uh, you unbox it and uh, packaging is very nice. They do a good job of protecting your, your box. So it was real good. And uh, I go to assemble it. Well, you flip it up on its side or on its top, however you want to do, so you can throw on the uh, roller wheels. And uh, this has very nice heavy duty roller wheels okay so you bolt them on with four bolts okay and there's like two crossbars here for the bolts and over there is two crossbars so i do those two uh well actually these two wheels here all eight bolts not a problem i go to those two uh wheels and the first ones on the one bar no problem but on the last bar the outside for the last four, two on each wheel, uh, I couldn't get the bolts to start. I kept trying and trying and trying and trying. And what the hell is going on? What am I doing wrong? You know, and so then I get the bright idea. Let me get a, a brighter light here and take a look. And that bar did not have the threads for bolts to screw into. So that's why it wouldn't start. So the manufacturer apparently... Uh, they did not, they drilled the hole out for the bolt, but they did not put threads in the hole in order to screw your bolt in on that particular, uh, crossbar. So that kind of screwed me. So I had to scramble around. You find, uh, four bolts with, you know, washers and nuts and, and bolt it on that way. So I was able to do it and get it done, but it was, oh, I was steaming mad. I mean, steaming mad. So it took me forever fumbling around and and such a, for a, such a stupid reason. So anyways, uh, you get over here at the top and you see where you have a, uh, lift up lid and it has the, uh, gas shocks real nice and you can lower it down here and you'll see it says Milwaukee on the top, got a handle and then it pops up on its own there. And then underneath here, you'll see a hook where you can hang a light. I've actually bought a magnetic light that I'm going to put under there, and it's a USB plug that's supposed to come in the mail today, so I'll do a review on that one, too. Um, once again, you see Milwaukee. Backside, you've got a, a metal pegboard, so you can hang things. It's kind of short. I don't know really why you would hang anything back there, but if you want to, you can. Uh, I've also ordered a uh, organizer for up here so for small stuff like my tape measures and things i'll just drop it in little compartments that sit up here so uh, it comes with this mat you probably can't yeah you can see it says milwaukee there you know, i got my chargers in the way but it says milwaukee imprinted on it and it's real thick uh it's nice i like that the um once again quality control really wasn't there because down at this end i had to trim it which it's supposed to be already pre-cut and fit perfectly, but no, it didn't fit perfectly. So I had to get the razor blade out and cut it. Not a major deal, but, you know, for a $1,000, I thought, okay, you know, things, things should fit perfectly. There should be threads and bolt holes, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so I think you can see here the top box has its own outlet strip as well. So you've got one for your top box, one for the bottom, because they can be sold separately. So on this particular setup, you'll have two different ones. This is great here because I can put my chargers here. You know, I've got one for my drill and one for my uh, cordless saw. And uh, so you can just plug them in there and charge them. Um, if you had any necessity to, you can drop your lid and lock it in there while they're charging. You know, it's here at my home. I don't need to worry about that. But you can do it if you've got it at a shop or something. Uh, I know some people mention this about, you know, at their mechanic shop. And this is a, a nice box. I do like the box. But quite honestly, if you're doing mechanic work for a living and you have a box like this, uh, this is more homeowner style box. Uh, they'll pretty much laugh you out of the mechanic shop. You know, you, if you don't have something like a Snap-on or a Mac or something of that sort, that level, uh, they're going to laugh you out of the shop. So it's funny when they mention, you know, using this for a mechanic job, which you could, 
you could, but it's just the, the peer pressure will crush you. <laughs> so anyways, um, so that's, that's the top box there, top level, whatever you want to call it. And then you, you see up here, uh, you've got your, uh, six drawers. So, uh, I guess I can show you each one of these. There are various, you know, depths. So, but they're plenty deep enough for all your typical hand tools. Obviously, I got all my pliers and stuff in this top drawer. And uh, I'll show you here too that these are soft close. So give it a push, closes by itself. No slamming and tools flying and like my old uh, box from uh, Craftsman. This drawer here, I've got what I call cutters, various things that you're gonna use to cut and slice and trim and whatever. So that's what I have in that one. Okay. My third one, this is somewhat empty. Uh, it's a few miscellaneous items, but I really don't have anything that I got put in this one yet, which is great. I've got options. And you might be able to see how the, the these all have their rubber mats inside, which are good quality, but again, they're not all exactly cut perfectly. You know, they'll bubble a little bit at certain areas, uh, but overall they're nice and thick and they got good grip on them. So, you know, your cheaper ones don't come with it at all. So you gotta give them credit for that. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, this one uh, is a, well, actually it's a fourth drawer. So one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry. It has eight drawers on the top box. Okay, so eight on top, eight on bottom, 16 total. You'll see this drawer here. You can pull it additionally. Hear that and it locks. Okay, that's, because it's intended to be kind of a work surface. So you've got a pretty good area here where you'll be able to put a clipboard, a laptop, a, you know, a tablet, whatever it is that you're wanting to use. That's pretty cool. And it's metal. And you've got a little hold here to lift it up. And you still got all your storage done in here. So I've got some miscellane miscellaneous items in here that I don't use that often. But it's got a good you know area of storage underneath this. And then you've got a work surface on top, you know. And one of the things that I was looking at, okay, when I looked at the quality of these is the drawers. Uh, these are ball bearing drawers and each drawer is a hundred pound weight. So you can put a hundred pounds on this. Your very bottom two drawers have two rails each. So they're actually 200 pound drawers. I'll show you that when I get down there. But they are good quality uh, drawers, heavy duty. And I, I kind of move them from side to side and see how much you can move them. I'm telling you the cheapos, man, you can just wobble them back and forth on those railings. They're just junk. Uh, just like my old craftsman was just like the cobalt is at Lowe's. So the Husky is decent. It's still not nearly as good as this. This is solid. Okay. But the Husky is, is what I would call good. This I would call more of great because these railings are kind of the quality of a, almost like a snap-on or something. I mean, these are more heavy duty, definitely plenty heavy duty enough for a homeowner. Okay. And, uh, so then you got to kind of bump it and then it'll unlock and go ahead and close it by itself. So, uh, here we go again, let's kind of bore you, but at least you'll be able to see, uh, items that are in here to give you an idea of the sizes and what you can fit in there. Okay, so got like Torx head and star uh, head uh, screwdrivers and things. And yeah, got my uh, various, well, like you see, this is a really long one here. Yeah, and it still fits in there. But this thing is long. It's, uh, you know, over a foot and uh, fits in there with ease and has extra room. So that gives you an idea. So a bunch of, uh, you know, straight Phillips heads. That's where I got these, okay? And that's your top box. Well, in between here, you've got a, a long, one single long wide drawer. And that typically is gonna be for your sockets. And that's what I have in here. I still have to buy some more um, like socket organizers. You know, I've got these old cheapo rails that I'm going to throw in the trash. I'll get better organizers, uh, 
I've had my uncle, my brother, and other people here working on stuff uh, throughout the years, and sockets have gotten thrown around, tools and wrenches, so I've had to go through my garage searching around for stuff that's been thrown on this shelf and on that shelf and in this drawer, so I don't have this all organized like it's ultimately going to be. So I got to find out where all my sockets are. If any are missing, I got to replace them, put them in better uh, uh, organizers and things, but, but you can see this is a pretty much full width. This is a 46 inch box, pretty much full width. So you've got a really nice drawer for all your sockets and uh, various different you know, extensions and ratchets and things. So, and then see so you close that and it doesn't slam and bang and go flying with all your tools. And that, that's a really thing I, I, I like about this is that soft closed drawers. Okay, this one here, I better stand back up. This one here, I've got my wrenches, obviously. Okay. This one here is a deeper drawer. I was using it for a hammer drawer. Okay. And this really deep one here is going to be more for power tools. Uh, this is my bag for my, uh, I have a Bosch cordless uh, saw, circular saw, so. That's what that's for. Right now, I'll have a few other things in there too. Um, over here, I've got my monkey wrenches. Okay. Right here, some old old school uh, oil filter wrenches and things of that sort. Okay, over here I got some chisels and punches. Uh, files and then down here okay is a box intended to put your cordless drills or impact drills and their batteries uh, I'll use it for multiple uses really but I've got my one drill in here where you can see it could lay in there okay and uh, has plenty of room with a bit and everything and then right here you could hang your batteries which I'm not doing because I'll, I'll use the top box up there for all that but you can store any of, of your drills and impact wrenches and things of that in there, air drills, whatever you got. And it all fits in there quite well. So uh, there's plenty enough room for a homeowner, without a doubt. Uh, I don't know if you can tell well here, but uh, on this end is where I installed the swivel wheels. You get two swivels and two stationary. So on this side, it has a stationary, I mean the swivel. And on one side, you press it down and it locks so it doesn't roll. The right side, you press that half, and it'll release the lock. Very nice wheels on this. So if you need it to be mobile and move around your garage or wherever, or take it outside, uh, it's definitely built for that. Uh, rolls nice and smooth. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a handle on that end where it was installed. And I had already installed the wheels and handle on this end. You can put it on either end. They have bolt holes for either end. I installed it on this end because I was planning on putting it in a different location, like I mentioned earlier. I changed my mind. I wasn't going to take it all back apart. And I didn't need to, so it still parks here, and it's not a problem. So, all right. Uh, I believe that's mostly everything on this box uh, that I needed to mention. Uh, the frame is very heavy duty. They mentioned that. You can see that in the description when you you uh, search for it, uh, this product, but... Like you know, I don't give you 50 million details on these. I just try to give you a general overview of what you'd actually like to know about it. Um, so uh, if you're a stack guy and you wanna know every inch and cubic inch of storage and all that stuff, well, all that's gonna be listed when you search to go buy one. So all that info is there. I'm giving you info that they kinda of don't always give you in the description. You know, the actual homeowner user of the product. So, uh, the negatives, like I said, uh, you know, the bolt holes were screwed up on there. A uh, little bit of trimming on the rubber that they provide you. That wasn't right. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous, but um, overall, it's good. The power strips, you know, we'll, we'll see how long they last. They seem to be pretty much like a cheapo power strip. But uh, they do have screws where you remove the cover plate, pull out the... Uh, 
the uh, power strip and replace it. So if you want a better quality one, go ahead and put it in there. It's it's easily removed and, and installed. Okay, um, one thing to mention about that is these uh, shoot out the back. Okay, the cord shoots out the back. They have an opening back there. Now what you have to do, like on the top box, is you pull this drawer here. Let me see if I can get over here and show you. All right, so do you see this little little tab right here? Okay, on the right side where I'm at, you'll press it down. Okay, press it down. On the left side, you'll press it up. And when you do that simultaneously, the drawer, you can pull it out with ease. You just remove it. Okay, then when you want to put it back in, just go ahead and push these back in like that. And then push your drawer into the railings. Push it all the way in. It'll lock again. You pull it out and it's working again like normal. So... But see, these are very smooth, very smooth ball bearing, you know. But anyways, you'll remove these drawers and you'll reach in the back and that's where the hole is to poke your cord through when you first buy this, when you unpackage it. Same thing you're going to do at the bottom. There's a drawer you got to remove so you can poke the uh, cord back for that one. So that's just to, so you know if you end up buying this. So this is a matte black with uh, kind of a gloss back black drawers um we'll see how the matte uh, did i say matte black matte red um we'll see how the matte red does because it, it seems to me like uh, greasy fingerprints and stuff are going to be a problem on it um i'll try not to get too many of those on it in the first place but i think if you do it's going to be a little bit difficult to get it off uh kind of holds on to fingerprints and things so, you know, if that bothers you, it really doesn't bother me. But if it bothers you, that's a little downside. But otherwise, uh, a lot of the other competitors, only like 13 drawers, 14 or 15. This is 16 drawer. So that's an advantage. There'll be like a 41, 42, 44 inch. This one's a 46. So that's an advantage. Okay. Um, which obviously gives you more overall storage for tools. Um their rubber mats that it comes with are much better quality. The other ones either don't come with them or they're super cheapo. That's junk. Uh, this does have the power strips top and bottom. Some of them just have top only and some of them don't have any at all. So that's an upgrade. The wheels are very heavy duty with nice locks on one end. Uh, that's an upgrade from some of the cheapos on the other competitors. Um, so, uh, oh, one trick I want to mention to you real quick. Uh, before I forget, is this one can be locked, okay, and this one can be locked. Well, they sell them separately, so they have separate keys, you know, different keys. But they show you a trick online, because you see this little box here, the top box? This one can be locked also. Well, that lock and this lock are keyed the same. So, if you want, and you want to use it, I'm not, but if you want to use it, you can remove the lock out of this drawer, remove the lock down there on the bottom box and then go ahead and replace switch those two so now your top and bottom box would lock with the same key and your little drawer here would lock with a different key so you know if you want to put your wallet or something in this little drawer here it would have its own key and you can still have everything else unlocked or you could lock everything else with one key and if someone else needs to unlock it they can get into your box without getting into your little drawer where maybe your wallet or your phone or something is. So, you know, that's one thing you can do too. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, that's the review of the Milwaukee 46 inch top and bottom box, 16 drawer. Uh, it's, you know, heavy duty frame, good quality. Uh, it's an excellent box. Um, absolutely great for at home for sure. So I hope you guys liked the review. Uh, please continue to come back for more videos. I'm going to try to make quite a bit more here at the new year. This is January 2022 now. So try to make several more videos and get my uh, my uh, site you know, built a little bit bigger. I'm still pretty new at this and learning what I'm supposed to do. So hopefully I'm not too boring for you guys. And you enjoy, I guess, uh, my point of view on these products. So please uh, like, subscribe, uh, share, please tell your friends so I can expand the page. And I appreciate you uh, taking the time to look at the review. This is Ron's Random Reviews. Until next time.